Reality as we know it is about to be rewritten. Imagine a world where your mind interacts directly with machines, a world where sight, touch, taste, and even reality itself can be hacked. Welcome to Neuralink, the technology that could break reality itself. Mark Zuckerberg recently unveiled the Orion glasses, Meta's fully holographic augmented reality device. Sleek and futuristic, Orion is designed to push computing into a new era. Zuckerberg believes products like the MetaQuest, Apple Vision Pro, and Orion Glasses represent the next major computing platform, a step beyond smartphones. And you know what? He might be right. Augmented reality has the potential to redefine how we interact with technology. But here's the question. Does anyone actually want to wear this thing on their face all day? Yes, these glasses can augment reality, overlaying digital images on the physical world, and sure, that's impressive. But is it enough? The glasses might turn heads in tech circles, but for everyday use, they raise practical concerns. How comfortable will they be for prolonged use? How fragile are they? Will people really want to spend their day with glasses glued to their faces? But what if we could go beyond augmenting reality? What if we could rewrite it entirely? This is where Neuralink comes in, not to augment reality, but to completely break it and rebuild it. While Meta is focused on external wearables, Neuralink takes a radically different approach. Internal integration. If augmented reality is the evolution of computers, then Neuralink represents the Omega, the final form. Neuralink is no longer just a concept. The FDA recently classified its Blindsight project as a breakthrough device, fast-tracking it through development and review. This technology is designed to do something we've only seen in science fiction, restore sight to the blind. Yeah, really, here's how it works. Neuralink replaces the patient's damaged eyes with small digital cameras, like those used in augmented reality glasses. These cameras transmit visual data to an implant inserted directly into the brain's visual cortex. The brain interprets this data, creating a visual field for the user. Neuralink's surgical process involves drilling a small hole in the skull and connecting ultra-thin wires to specific regions of the brain. For vision, two implants would be required, one for each hemisphere. The initial results won't be perfect, as Elon Musk puts it. To set expectations correctly, the vision will at first be low resolution, like Atari graphics. But over time, it could surpass natural vision. What? Surpass natural vision? Yes. Neuralink's camera-based system could allow users to see wavelengths humans have never experienced. Infrared, ultraviolet, even radar. Just imagine having the visual capabilities of a hawk or the night vision of a cat. This technology goes beyond medical applications. It could reshape how humans perceive reality itself. Let's step back for a moment. What is reality? It's simply the brain interpreting electrical signals from your senses. Your eyes, ears, skin, and tongue are just biological sensors feeding data to your brain. Neuralink hacks this system by bypassing traditional sensory pathways and directly stimulating the brain. This opens up mind-boggling possibilities. Imagine eating virtual food and tasting every flavor, walking through a virtual rainstorm and feeling every drop, smelling a field of flowers that doesn't exist. With Neuralink, the line between the real and the virtual begins to blur. And at some point, does it even matter? Mark Zuckerberg has acknowledged the limitations of augmented reality glasses. Haptic feedback, creating a sense of touch, is out of reach for AR. Smell, a critical part of immersive experiences, is nearly impossible to simulate in AR. But Neuralink doesn't face these barriers. By directly stimulating the brain, it could recreate a fully immersive sensory experience. Here's the contrast. Meta's Orion glasses are just a wearable toy. They overlay visuals but can't simulate texture, temperature, or scent. Neuralink directly hacks the brain, enabling sensations that feel as real as the physical world. Which would you prefer? A pair of glasses that make you look like a high-tech librarian, or a chip that lets you live in a fully immersive, customizable reality? Neuralink isn't just about breaking reality, 
It's about transforming lives. Let's focus on the real impact. Blindsight could restore vision to millions of people worldwide. Individuals blinded by accidents or illness. Those born blind due to genetic conditions. Marcus House, a prominent YouTuber, commented on Musk's Blindsight announcement, This is my dream with my legally blind son. I give anything to allow him to see clearly for the first time. Thanks to everyone involved in this project. Beyond vision, Neuralink could treat neurological conditions like epilepsy by detecting and interrupting seizures in real time. Paralysis, enabling control of prosthetic limbs through brain signals. Depression, stimulating areas of the brain associated with mood regulation. Neuralink has the potential to redefine medicine. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Getting people to wear glasses is one thing, convincing them to drill holes in their skulls is another. But Neuralink is designed for long-term convenience. The surgery is robotic and automated, reducing human error. Implants are upgradable. You don't need new surgery, just a chip replacement. Now compare this to wearables. Glasses can break, scratch, or get lost. Environmental factors like heat, humidity, and wear and tear degrade their functionality. You see, Neuralink's implant stays with you for life, discreetly tucked under your skin. The upfront cost might be high, but it's a one-time investment compared to the recurring expense of wearables. Elon Musk describes Neuralink as a tertiary layer of the human brain. The limbic system handles primal instincts like hunger, fear, and reproduction. The cerebral cortex controls higher reasoning, memory, and decision-making. Neuralink would add a third layer, a super-intelligent AI interface seamlessly integrated with the brain. And this tertiary layer could enhance cognitive abilities beyond human limits, provide instant access to information without external devices, enable direct communication between minds via digital thought transfer. Imagine downloading knowledge like Neo in The Matrix. Musk believes this could remain harmonious, with AI complementing human intelligence rather than overpowering it. But of course, Neuralink's potential comes with risks. Like data security, could hackers access your thoughts or memories? Privacy, how do we protect personal information when our brain is connected to a network? Control, who owns the data generated by your Neuralink implant? These challenges must be addressed before widespread adoption. But let's not forget, the internet faced similar concerns in its early days. Let's talk about the long-term impact of Neuralink. In the 2030s, Arkansas glasses like Orion may dominate, replacing smartphones as the go-to computing platform. But by the 2040, Neuralink could take center stage. Picture this future. Instead of pulling out a device, you think of a command, and it's executed instantly. Virtual experiences become indistinguishable from real life. Human capabilities expand to levels we can't yet fathom. At this point, reality itself becomes a construct, a sandbox we can shape and manipulate. However, as awe-inspiring as Neuralink sounds, it's worth considering the ethical implications. Could these devices create a new class divide between those who can afford augmented humanity and those who cannot? What about security risks? If our brains become hackable, how do we protect our most personal data? Our thoughts? The late Stephen Hawking once warned about the risks of unregulated AI, and Neuralink's integration with AI amplifies these concerns. Yet, the potential for good, curing blindness, restoring mobility, and enhancing cognition remains undeniable. You see, Neuralink's ambitions are staggering, promising a future where human limitations are optional. While AR glasses like Meta's Orion may usher in a new era of computing, Neuralink aims to transcend the very concept of reality itself. Whether this vision will lead to a utopia or a dystopia remains to be seen. For now, we can marvel at the ingenuity and ponder, would you trade your meat suit for the ultimate upgrade? So, what do you think? Will Neuralink break reality or rebuild it into something better? Share your thoughts in the comments below, because one thing is clear, whether it's Meta's glasses or Neuralink's chip, the future is here.